Well, Paul, first of all, obvious question. How pleased are you to, to be back in a, a Birmingham City shirt? Yeah, I'm delighted. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, there was obviously interest last year, but it didn't quite come through. Uh, and I thought that, that it may not happen, but eventually uh, I got a pleasant surprise yesterday and, and now I'm here I am. And after a, a summer of a lot of confusion for you, you didn't quite know where you were going to end up at, at the end of it. Driving into the training ground this morning must have been a nice feeling. It was, yeah, uh, especially as a, as a permanent Birmingham City player rather than just on loan. Uh, but as I said, it was a long time coming and I'm just glad that it's, it's, it's done, done and by with now and, and I can just concentrate on football. How did it come about? Obviously, we know the interest has always been there, but it seemed to have gone away for a long time. And then only really yesterday was where all of a sudden we found out that, that there was another interest. From I think the, obviously behind the scenes with my agent and the manager and I think there's, there's been interest here for, for quite a while, but it was just whether the Birmingham were, were going to be able to match what Swindon wanted. And, so I think initially uh, I was aware that it, was, it could have been a loan deal yesterday, but uh, I got got pulled yesterday from the Swindon owner to say that they had accepted a fee, which at the same time I still thought was a loan fee, and he'd confirmed that it was uh, it was permanent. So it was a long day yesterday. I, I left uh, Swindon yesterday morning at half ten. I don't think I signed last night till about half eight. So uh, just glad it's all done. Is it strange to be part of the whole transfer deadline day? fiasco that it is nowadays? Well, uh, last year it was exactly the same, the last, last day of the transfer window, but that was only on loan. But to be honest, I think I would rather sit, and, sit on my couch and watch it than, uh, than be involved in it. It's, it can be a stressful day, uh, a very long day. Like yesterday during the day, three, four, five o'clock, I was thinking to myself, like, what do I do now? Do I... It's hard to be, to have that normality in your life. You just, you don't know where your next step's going to be. You can get a phone call the next minute to see you're, you've got to be here or there. And, so it was just a lot of kind of uh, sitting around, waiting about, and and uh, a lot of frustration, but a lot of stress as well. And what is it about this club that, that made you want to come back so much? Uh, first and foremost, I think uh, the manager, of course. The manager uh, showed a lot of faith in me last year because I know uh, there can be a lot of pressure on somebody like myself coming from a lower league to, to such a, a big club, uh, and hopefully I, I managed to, to prove that tag wrong. And, uh, I was just glad that, that he showed so much interest in me for me to come back and the, the enthusiasm he showed and uh, just uh, that all round feeling of I just had the feel good factor here, it just felt right uh, from the minute I came last year and, and obviously I'd done my shoulder and the, the treatment I got was first class as well so I just thought that, that everything behind the scenes was, was right for me and my family. It's been very much a summer of change here since you were here last season. Was it weird on the training pitch with so many different faces that, that you hadn't seen before? Uh, not particularly, to be honest. Uh, obviously, I know Andrew Shinney from my, from my time I played with him at Scotland. Uh, and obviously, know there's, there's quite a few of the lads that are still here, the senior players, for example. So there was a lot of familiar faces, but at the same time, a couple of new faces as well. But uh, albeit all, all good lads, and, and uh, I've managed to keep in touch with a few of the players over the summer as well, so, so that always helps. Yeah, a real Scottish contingent as well of yourself, Chris Burke, Scott Allen and Andy Shinney as you mentioned there. Yeah, I think uh, that's us got four now. I think uh, another one and we'll, we'll have a little mini team. But uh, it's good just to have, have good players first and foremost round about you, which which uh, all the ones you mentioned as well as the rest of the players are. It's good to good to play with good players and, and at a good level. And speaking of Scotland, obviously you forced your way into the national team under Gordon Strachan last season. Is that something that you're thinking about as well in terms of impressing for Blues and hoping to catch his eye? Well, uh, obviously the first first things I've got to cement a place in, in, the, in the team here, which uh, I know is going to be difficult, but it's a challenge that, that I'm willing to take on. Uh, and if you do well at a competitive uh, level every week, then it's up, to, it's up to the manager. The most I can do is just play regularly for, for Birmingham, give everything for them, and then we'll see what the manager thinks of Scotland. The manager, Lee Clark, had earmarked that right wing-back spot for you, a slightly different formation this season initially. Do you feel that you, you can comfortably slot into that kind of system as well? I think if you were to pick a perfect position for me on the pitch, that's where it would be. Uh, I think my energy levels and my fitness levels uh, will, will, help me, will help me do that, that kind of position. And it's always, always good to have that security of three centre-backs behind you as well. Uh, but I think at the same time it, it can be quite uh, it can leave the two strikers quite isolated at times because 
you've got to have players that want to get up the pitch and and, uh, and, and create chances for for the for the pair up front. So uh, I believe that I, I, I can do that, and hopefully uh, I can add something to the team. What have you made of the start to the season so far, and what can be achieved? I think it's uh, been mixed again in it to similar to last season. Uh, I think there's speaking to the lads, I've not seen it, of course, but I think the there's a few games that they reckon they could have got something, uh, a point, if not three out of, which I think was frustrating last year because obviously I was involved first hand myself and there was games where we could do, could have got a lot more. But we're a young group of players. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of new faces and there's going to be a lot of, a lot of frustration days, but there'll be a lot of satisfying days as well. And uh, we just, we just hope that everybody sticks together and, and we all go up onwards and upwards together. And just finally, it's always nice to be wanted by manager, fellow players, but you built up a real good relationship with the supporters as well last season. You must be looking forward to, to having that relationship again. Yeah, uh, I think uh, supporters just just see uh, somebody giving 100% for, for the club that they love and then they take to you. And, uh, I feel as if at the same time all the, all the club as well, because I know that financially there's, uh, it's not great at the moment and, and they've managed to come up trumps and and somehow find a fee for myself, so I won't promise that I'll score 30 goals a season or have five assists every game, but what I can promise is I'll give 100% for the club 90 plus minutes every week.